So, this is Eija Niskanen, Helsinki Sine Asia, and I am interviewing the filmmakers of Money Has No uh, no sense. Oh, let's, uh, this is screening at this weekend at Helsinki Cine Asia online. So how are you doing in Burma? Uh, yes, uh, I, I am uh, currently uh, uh, stay living around from place to place. So I'm stay okay. Uh, I'm stay in Yango, uh, but the, the outside situation is now really good. And today is the, actually the, uh, the new year uh, celebration of uh, Myanmar New Year, but the thing is that nobody can uh, participate in it, and everybody uh, uh, has been running around or hiding. <laughs> in, and this is because of uh, what is happening in in uh, Myanmar right now. Uh, uh, no, no, right now, what's happening is the that there has been a, a military coup. Uh, 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 in February 1st. So mm -hmm. it has been, yeah. So, uh, and uh, a lot of the citizens, uh, majority of the citizens, uh, we are not, uh, they are not uh, obeying the military law. So they, they, they were protesting for like now over two months already. And the protests were peaceful at first. And, but now they, uh, with the violent crackdown on the protests, uh, uh, over 700 people were already dead and over 4,000 people were arrested already. So uh, it's again very dangerous now. Yes, it has been in news here in Finland also, like, like for several times uh, frequently about what is happening there. So um, how are the filmmakers coping with this situation? Like, are you able to show your films in theaters? Naturally, we have a pandemic also going on at the same time. Uh, no, we, we, the theater were shut down for more than one year uh, already. Yes, mm -hmm. in Myanmar. So, uh, and I don't see the theater opening anytime soon because the, now the, a lot of the uh, filmmakers and also the celebrity actors, they were uh, issue warrant and we are running around or hiding. <laughs> okay, yeah. So uh, to talk about your film, Money Has Four Legs, it seems that it is very autobiographical. Uh, was your way to filmmaking similar to a protagonist of your film? Uh, yes, because uh, when I, I, I started, uh, started to decide the uh, I want to go into filmmaking, filmmaking. So uh, I, I have to find a story. Uh, so at, at the same time, I, I haven't learned the filmmaking properly by myself. So I have to learn the filmmaking by watching and analyzing film, and also trying to make uh, short films and trying to uh, know more about the Myanmar film industry at the same time. Then I, I found a lot of difficulties and I have to uh, uh, struggle myself. Uh, so when I started uh, developing the story, so I, I, I developed the story uh, based on my own experiences. Mm -hmm. And um, the um, film gives kind of like a bleak image about, about the film industry, for example, it seems that you have many censorship rules or the producer wants to change the script a lot. So is that the case uh, in a real life also? Uh, yeah, and here the, the mainstream industry, uh, uh, the, the, the commercial film industry, actually in here, the, uh, the independent film uh, industry is almost non-existent. So uh, the, the main industry is the, the mainstream industry. Uh, the, the producers are also known as the, the investors. Uh, they have the almost complete control of the, what kind of film they want to make. So they influence a lot on the director and also the scriptwriter. Mm -hmm. And what kind of issues no normally don't pass with commercial cinema? Uh, sorry, can you ask again? What, what kind of matters uh, like normally don't go into mainstream cinema filmmaking? What do they take out? Oh, In your film, okay. it is like swear words, like certain words cannot be used. And <laughs> 
Oh yeah. Uh, uh, you mean the the censorship or yeah censorship? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, so actually, the censorship is the uh, very extreme and restrictive, and is uh, even comparable to the uh, 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 and and the, uh, the comparable to the dark age because you you see. Uh, in the film, we cannot really criticize the, the government or the military governments uh, and also their policies and also their offices. Uh, and also the, they, they are also uh, very, uh, their policy is very nationalist. So uh, they, they, they want the character to maintain the, uh, the nationalism of the, the image, such as the, their costume or the uh, they don't want the characters to be, not to be swearing, so swearing will take out, and also they don't want the the characters to be uh, non-smokers, as uh, smoking scenes cannot be shown. Uh, the sex scenes also are not allowed. No, not even sex scene. The kissing scene are also not allowed. So, okay. yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, you can run around with your girlfriend in the back but uh, you cannot really kiss. Uh, uh, so, uh, 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 so uh, also the, the, they have the, uh, they have the, uh, the censorship board member consisting of the 17 people, uh, all from different industries. So some are from the, like the uh, police, some are from the uh, Ministry of Culture and some are from the Ministry of Education. So uh, whenever one of them sees one thing that offending their uh, respected organization, they want us to take it out. So a lot of things are so like the, uh, uh, you know, like the, uh, how can I say, uh, not the complete thing because a lot of things were already cut out or censored. So how about, um, for example, you have one kind of like sex scene where the protagonist is hiding under the bed and he hears the lovemaking. So uh, what, what do you think will happen to that? Like, did, you, did it pass the censorship? Uh, because uh, uh, while I was trying to, uh, trying to uh, send to censor, so the film is stay in the uh, progress of being censored. So I don't know the results. That uh, the the main reason I did the scenes of the like smoking scenes and also the uh, like the criticizing scenes or the some of the, the the policy of the censorship and also about the 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 audio of the sex scenes. They they are the my how can I say I, I'm I'm testing water that if they can allow that kind of uh, that kind of you know advancement, or uh, they 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 may want to censor them all together. So I, I was testing them with the film. Okay, and the story is kind of it's a film about filmmaking. That's a certain genre of films. And why did you decide to make it in this kind of a story? Uh, because when I I started developing the story. Uh, uh, actually, it was very, uh, I wanted to be, uh, even though it is a fiction film, I wanted to be the some, uh, uh, some degree of realism, realism. So, because I, a lot of the, uh, uh, a lot of the films in Myanmar industry are, uh, you know, very artificial and they're acting, uh, uh, you know, the extreme acting of the theoretical sites. So I, I want to test out the, uh, this kind of uh, realism acting. Uh, so, <clears throat> uh, so, uh, uh, sorry, that, can, can you ask me again the question? Well, maybe because like, um, this is a film about filmmaking, oh. like the protagonist is making, and that's a certain genre, like, are there other films in, uh, in made in uh, Myanmar that this have a similar kind of like setting, like film about filmmaking? Oh yes. So uh, when I started developing the film, uh, so uh, the thing is that uh, I do not know the uh, I do not know much about the other peoples, but I know about myself and also my yes. experiences. So and also uh, I I am the first time filmmaker. So uh, I I think uh, making a film film about 
a filmmaker who trying to make his first film, uh, it will be very, I think, close to myself and I can, uh, I think I can write the character very well. So uh, I, 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 I'm only believe in that kind of uh, character. I'm not confident in doing the same character that I don't know. So uh, I developed this, uh, this story. And I think uh, that there might be the uh, same film about the making film uh, already in the commercial industry. But uh, I think uh, this kind of approach with the uh, satirical comedy approach might be the, I think it might be the first one in, in Myanmar. Um, and talking about a protagonist, like how did you find the actor to um, act the part? I think he's very good in the part. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Uh, actually, the actor is, uh, is also the he he, he is a uh, docu uh, documentary filmmaker. Uh, mm -hmm. He is also a uh, one of my friends. Uh, so when I, I started casting the uh, the character, uh, uh, he uh, I think he fit really well into the character. Uh, even though he is a bit younger than the the character uh, I really want, uh, I I chose him because. Uh, the, uh, the, there are other elements of the character, uh, such as the uh, he his uh, such as his father was a you know was a legend in uh, film industry, uh, who was a very famous character. Uh, so uh, you know a lot of elements are in line, and I think he can act very well his part. So his part. So I, I chose him. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um. um... Film is kind of like a mixed genre, like there are some scenes which are very comedic, like when he sneaks into the big producer's house or, or um, but when there are like also scenes which are ex exciting, a little bit like thrillers, and when there are this kind of like what you are talking about, like, like um, realistic depiction of everyday life, life in, in Myanmar. So I think it's a nice, nice mix of genres. But how did you kind of like think about this genre mix? Uh, okay, uh, the the first uh, the first thing when I developed this film is the film is a is a comedy. It has to be a comedy film, and also it has to be a sarcastic tone, and it, it has to be a satirical to the censorship itself. So uh, uh, why also why make the film? Uh, at the same time, I am making fun of myself and my experience uh, as a filmmaker. So I, I, I had a lot of fun and also a lot of headache uh, making this film. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. And how about the settings? Like how did you uh, lo uh, search for the locations where to shoot? Uh, OK, because uh, uh, it, it, uh, it's the uh, the first time. Uh, it's my first time in filmmaking, so I don't have a lot of experiences. So, uh, I uh, but I the the only thing I have it I have the uh, limited budget, and but I have the unlimited time myself. So uh, I, I look for the uh, one I started developing the film. Uh, uh, I was always looking for the location or the character everywhere I go and everything I do. So I was always looking out. Uh, so uh, actually, it took a lot of time to find the, the location I like uh, and also the character I, I found out. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, mm, talking about like this kind of um, independent filmmaking, like like you said, you have friend, friends like the, the main, main actor uh, is actually a filmmaker. So how big a community do you have of these kind of like independent filmmakers outside of a commercial cinema in Burma? Uh, okay, uh, actually it's not a very big community because we can count like the, uh, the, the actual filmmakers are like count like uh, around 20 people. So I know everybody and everybody knows me. Uh, so it's that kind of community, but we have the other uh, uh, activities such as the uh, uh, independent film festivals. And also the, we have the one, we have the international film festivals such as the Mamori film festivals or the European film festival or the Japanese film festivals. So we, we, we always find the 
uh, reasons to gather around and uh, uh, share the ideas. So uh, it, it's such a small community, but uh, you know, uh, actually uh, in, in the, in, or even inside my friends, uh, majority of the characters are uh, the independent filmmakers. <laughs> yes. from, from, yeah. And how do they normally like school themselves to be filmmakers? Uh, like, uh, filmmaking schools? Yeah, um, I know there is a Rangoon Film School, isn't it? Yeah, Yangon Film School. Uh, there, there was Yangon Film School, and also the there are uh, a few filmmakers from the uh, Famu uh, Fem, Famu Fem, uh, School from Czech. Uh, they they got scholarship from Czech, and also the uh, uh, but most of the filmmakers here are, are in the South land and they, we, we share our knowledge uh, each other. Mm -hmm. And I know that uh, um, some uh, filmmakers from Finland were in, in Myanmar to educate also, like they, they had some kind of course in filmmaking at some point. Did you meet any of them? Uh, I don't particularly remember then, but I have had the, uh, a few film workshops uh, and also the, the talks from the, uh, the Indonesian industries. Yes. Okay, you mentioned uh, film festivals that happen in, in Yangon, but your film, um, I think it premiered at Busan, didn't it? No? Yes. yes. So um, how many festivals has it been circulating now? Uh, I think because the uh, uh, this is the uh, second uh, second premiere and also the the, the European, pre uh, European premiere of the film, so this is the second uh, second uh, festival. And so the first festival was uh, Busan. Uh, actually, it was uh, quite difficult for me because uh, we uh, one, last year we had the COVID nineteen situation, so uh, the, a lot of the uh, uh, government offices uh, related with the film industry were closed, so I cannot submit to uh, submit to censorship, and also the the cinemas were shut down. At the same time, uh, the a lot of the hundreds of films, like there about three hundred or four hundred films, were queuing for the for the screening at the theater. So. Uh, so, uh, but at the same time, cinemas were shut down. So it, it was really difficult. Now with the uh, uh, with the military coup situation, I think it might be almost impossible for my film uh, to uh, to screen in, inside the country. Okay, yes, it's it is a tough situation. So I guess like um, most filmmakers have to you know work distance from home or because of a pandemic and because of a military coup. So, so you don't have much uh, opportunities to create films together now. No, but, and also the, uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of filmmakers where uh, the famous, uh, especially the, the famous actors and actresses, uh, they participated in the protests and now um, they, are, uh, they, they are wanted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they, they really cannot cannot go out out because the police yeah. might arrest them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really but, tough situation. Hmm. Yeah, but for me, uh, I, I stay. Uh, I, I I'm all. Uh, uh, I always like to stay low profile, uh, even though I'm very active in the protests and also the in the movements. Uh, I always uh, move in the background, so uh, um, my name is not in the uh, wanted list. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so far, uh, let's hope it stays that way, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, do you see any like um, hope for the situation to get better with a military rule or is there any solution in the near future? Uh, there might be some uh, radical solution, but uh, I don't think this, this will be uh, this way, uh, th this will be an easy solution, and also uh, the, the 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 situation might be more serious, and it might even lead to a very serious civil war right now. So it is very difficult time right now. Okay, so let's hope for the best. 
So, um, uh, do you have a special message like Abba that we talked about, about the film to the Finnish audience that you want to share? Oh, uh, actually, uh, even as an independent filmmaker uh, and also as a citizen of Myanmar, uh, uh, we, we, we had our own dreams and our, uh, own, uh, our own ambitions and we wanted to make films, uh, we wanted to make our film known in the international film scenes. Uh, so even with this kind of situation, we will still be making the films. And I also uh, want to ask the international audience uh, uh, for the support for our uh, freedom of expressions movement. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And um, Money Has Four Legs is screening at Helsinki Cine Asia. So thank you. And uh, we hope good luck to all filmmakers in your country in Myanmar. Thank you.